Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this Cypress tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to automate the drag and drop using the Cypress and we will also be seeing that how ChatGPT will assist us in automating the drag and drop functionality. So let's begin. So first let's understand about the functionality itself. So for this tutorial, I will be using this particular website. Let me copy this one from here and go to the browser here. So it's already open for me. So basically here we have our different boxes and these boxes have names like drag one, two, three and four. So I can drag any box and drop like this way. So if I dragged first from three, the sequence is changed and now the drag two is on the first place, then drag three, then drag one and drag four. So this is a functionality of drag and drop and this is we need to automate using the Cypress. Now there are two ways. So the first way is that the first way is that I should write a complete line of code from dragging to dropping. So there, there's a lengthy code I need to write. And the second way is that I should use a plugin and plugin will do same thing, but we don't need to write those steps of lines in our code. So let me go to the browser here and let me go here and search for Cypress plugins. And we need to go to this official link here. Click on this one and now search for drag and drop. So this is a community based plugin. Click on uh, this one here and if you scroll down, so this is the way so we can install using the NPM. Then we need to add this require into our commands.js. And once we are done with this, we, we can use simply cy.get. So this is a source item and this is a target item. So we need to provide the locators of both and we are done. So this is how simple it is. But if we start writing using complete code and there's a trigger method and there are different methods used in order to do the same functionality, this plugin will do that automatically for us. So I have already installed this one. You can simply go here and in terminal, you can provide NPM and this complete command to install. It will install this one and then we need to add this line of command. So if I go here, so this is already installed. So let me show you here in my package.json, you will find this dependency Cypress drag and drop, right? And once I install it, you will see this here. And then we have this command.js. So here you need to add this line. So once you are done with this, now you're good to go with writing your test here. So let me go here and let me create one file. So handling drag and drop dot JS. This is a file uh, and let me copy the basic reference lines from here. So let me copy from here and paste it here. And the first thing you know that we need to use a describe block and this is a describe block. So I will say that this is a drag and top tutorial and we need to use a callback function here. So this is a function and this is the body of this function and inside this we need to create a test. So it block and so let me name it as learn learn drag and drop and again a callback function here so callback function here it goes and this is a body and the first thing uh, what we need to do is that simply cy dot visit uh, to open this website here and let me go back to this particular url let me copy this url from here and go back here and provide this URL. So this is very simple. Now, cy dot. So let me go back to this uh, plugins 
um, page and here you will see the how it should be used so this is the line let me copy it from here and go back here and so now i just need to go and find the selectors for this one and see what happens so let me go here and go here and let me change it here inspect this one and uh, so you see this is a class so so what i'll do is that i will write a css selector here so css selector can be written if i copy this one from here then dot this one and these are two classes used so i need to provide this one so now you see that we have uniquely identified this one from here so this is our tracking point and let me go back here and provide this here and now uh, we where we need to drop it here we need to provide that uh, particular target locator so for that uh, again let's go back uh, to uh, this uh, website here and let me inspect this box here so the pretty much same here only uh, you see there's a difference of this particular class is dash three so let me copy this one from here and uh, paste it here and now we are done right let's save this one and see what happens and it will uh, start executing for that let me open the npx cypress open let me open the test runner and we will execute using the test runner and see what happens either it will drag this one box and drop it on the third one like this one and then the sequence should be changed here so just wait for some time to open the test runner and then we will execute using the test runner so meanwhile uh, let me open the chat gpt so we'll ask the chat gpt as well and so let me go back here it's open now and inside the learning we were automating the dragon dog and let's open this one and see what happens so no actually not this one we have executed uh, the wrong drag and drop so basically it was handling the drag and drop so let me open this one and yes uh, this is a correct one so it's so our script got executed but there's no change here and uh, let me show you the code so first you need to wrap this element then you need to trigger this one pointer down then mouse down then again use a trigger then again wrap this one so there's a lot of code we need to write in order to do this drag and drop and that is the benefit of using this plugin so plugin will do all the things for you but our requirement still haven't fulfilled so for that what i'll do is that i will force it okay so how i force it simply go here curly braces and here i need to write force force colon true that's it this is what we need to do and now save this one and let's see the execution and now you see this has been changed let me run this again to show you you see the places has been changed so this is how you can use the benefit of uh, the plugin now uh, let me uh, let's go to the chat gpt let me verify this one and from chat gpt we will ask chat gpt how to automate drag and draw and see what chat gpt suggests so obviously uh, as we know that there are two ways one is using writing the whole complete code and other is the plugin so what i'll do is that i'll ask chat gpt how to drag and drop element using cypress so let's ask the chat gpt and see what it suggests so to drag this one see you can use the trigger method to simulate the necessary mouse events so these all are the mouse events mouse up mouse down 
to drag and then again for the the place where we need to draw and that's why if i go back here uh, to the execution itself you see trigger 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 wrap the element then trigger trigger so much so many times we have used the trigger but we haven't write down this code this is automatically done by the plugin now if i go uh, back to chat gpt so chat gpt has written the complete code and it's quite complicated in nature now let me ask how to automate drag and drop uh, in cypress using plugin now i'm asking specifically about the plugin so now this time let's see what it says so using a plugin uh, here's an example of plugin that simplifies the process of drag and drop that's very cool then drag and drop requires equals this this is a plugin and this some additional code is saying we need to add this one and this one and this plugin uses the drag and drop library and install this and this cy.task drag so again it might be referring to some other drag and drop plugin there's there's so many plugins available in the market but this one which we used because here it says drag and drop and the the plugin we used was basically uh it was this one cypress drag and drop so let me write it again cypress drag and drop plugin and let me ask in a different way how to use cypress drag and drop plugin so how to use cypress drag and drop plugin to install this one now it is referring us to the correct plugin and this is we can do in this way and now here it is uh, telling us some different old way of uh, you know adding this requirement but it is also suggesting us in the same way it's a draggable then drag right this is the first element it's a source element then it's a target element in the target element you can also provide the coordinates as well so if, if you're using a chat gpt you need to be very very specific in terms of asking the chat gpt and again it's not 100 percent correct but at least it will help you in in many ways like 70 to 80 percent is correct thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial